From Golden Girls, Betty White. From TV and film, Marriott Hartley. From TV's bizarre, John Viner. From The Cosby Show and NBC Sports, Felicia and Ahmad Rashad. From Falcon Crest, Lorenzo Lamas. From the classical stage, it's Zach Perlman. From the Colby's, Emma Sam. From the bestseller list, Jackie Collins. And from the center square, Bronson King Show. Welcome to the new Hollywood Squares. Don't we look good? Doesn't it look great? The new show? Yes. And hello to our very, very special guest celebrities. You know who you are. Welcome to the show. Hello, John. I have two fascinating people who would like to meet you and hang out with the stars, maybe make some money. On my left, from Beverly Hills, California, she came all the way by bus. She's an actress whose nickname is Seven Up. Please welcome Ciara Kine. Hi, Ciara. How can you go through a career being called Seven Up? Is that the, the gear? Who calls you that? Well, my friends think I'm kind of bubbly, so. <laughs> what a terrible thing to be stuck with. What if you're down one day? You know. I know. Say, well, you lost your fizz. Or whatever. <laughs> Good luck on the show today. You, you, you have your work cut out for you because on my right is your opponent. His name is Bob Blanchard. He is a flight attendant. Hi, Bob. Welcome. Domestic or international? Do you fly all over the world? Uh, yes, I do. More fun to go out, right? Usually the layovers are longer when you go international. Good luck on the show today. Let me say some rules for you and then let's get started. Object of the game is to simply win at tic-tac-toe, three squares across, down or diagonally, or to acquire the most squares you can. The winner of each game will receive $500 in cash, and whoever wins the most money at the end of the show will have a chance to win one of these beautiful Cadillacs. Remember the way you earn the square is by determining if the star is making up a correct answer or trying to fool around. Ciara, pick a square. I pick the wonderful Bronson Pinchot. Bronson Pinchot from Perfect Strangers. Good luck on your second season. Thank you. Congratulations on a good show. According to Greek legend, Bronson, why did women used to rub crushed strawberries all over their bodies? <laughs> because it got them strawberries at a discount. <laughs> No, because uh, to soften their skin. To soften their skin, Ciara. I agree. No, but it's a great bluff. That's great. No, it's to enlarge it. How about to make them bigger somehow? X gets a square. Over to you, uh, Bob. Go ahead. I'd like to go with Marriott Hartley, please. Marriott Hartley, hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. True or false, Marriott? In ancient Greek mythology, there was a god of images named Polaridus. <laughs> Not, not Kodak Cola? No. <laughs> Polaritis. 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 Pol 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 Polaritis. I think that's false. He says, she says false, Bob. I'm going to agree with that. Of John. course it's false. X gets a square. Over to you, Ciara. Yes. The lovely Betty White. The lovely Betty White. She Hi, Betty. make it tonight. She right. <laughs> Congratulations on Golden Girls. What a great show it is. Congratulations on Hollywood Square. Betty, which of these has been around longer? Birth control pills or the Big Mac? <laughs> Big Mac. He's why they invented birth control. <laughs> Big Mac? Doctor. Yeah. I don't want you to think I'm old. I remember when they sold their first million hamburgers. Um, I think, uh, I think, I think, I think Big Mac has been around longer. She says Big Mac, Ciara. I'm going to agree. No, she's no. awful cute. But it's the pill. It was introduced in 1960. Big Mac didn't come till 68. Really? Yeah, what did you do all that time? I don't know. <laughs> I meant without the big one. Um, yeah. Uh, so she doesn't get the square. You have to earn that yourself. Bob, yours your turn. Pick okay, a I'll go back to Betty White, please. Good for you. Betty, here we are back again. This is a musical question, Betty. Listen, when I finish, you complete the phrase. Nobody does it better. Makes me feel bad for the rest. Nobody does it. Maybe you're 
the best. Baby, you're the best. This would be for the win, Bob. Five hundred dollars at stake. I agree with that. You're exactly right. Five hundred dollars. X gets the screen. Very nice. You have five hundred dollars, Bob. Ciara, no money yet, but right after these messages, we're going to play our secret square game. You get a chance to make a lot more than money right after this. Don't go away, everybody. We'll be right back. Always game number two is our secret square game, and the player who chooses that square could win this shadow. A trip to St. Thomas. For the vacation of a lifetime, we'll fly you and a guest round trip to the beautiful beaches of the Caribbean on Eastern Airlines. Eastern, the leader in service to all the Americas. And you'll enjoy a week's stay at Bluebeard's Castle Hotel. Deluxe accommodations, gourmet dining, dancing and entertainment, poolside living, tennis, and fantastic world-famous Megan's Bay Beach nearby. Uh, let's reveal our secret square to our home audience only. And let's get back to the game. Move It's over to you, Ciara. Okay, I'm trying Bronson again. Bronson Pinchot. If you call the White House and ask to speak to President Reagan, what will the White House operator typically say? Will she say, he's not available at the moment, or the president cannot take individual phone calls, or the president is in a meeting and we'll get back to you? He's clearing brush in Santa Barbara. <laughs> He's in a meeting and we'll get back to you. He says he was in a meeting and get back to you. Ciara? I disagree. Well, I don't have the answer here. Bronson, do you know how we could find the answer? Well, we could probably use this red phone. <laughs> Bronson is actually going to dial the White House. The phone is hooked up to our television. Just like normal. White House. Hello, is President Reagan there? Hello. <laughs> she hung up. It's nice to know that our government is there when you need them. No, we should try it again, Bronson. We don't give up. This is a country where you can speak to our leaders. This is an open country. You suppose he's in? Oh, well, we don't know. Let's see what they say. Probably taking his nap. <laughs> Hello, uh, uh, I was just disconnected. This is Balki Bartokumuz. I want to speak to President Reagan. The president. What? This is who? This is this Balki. Uh, is he there? Is Nancy there? <laughs> They're not available. What, are they in Santa Barbara? <laughs> Bronson, I think that's the answer to our question. Can you say thank you very much and we just have a half hour show? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, there's our answer. What did you say, Sierra? Oh, I forgot. Oh, okay. That's exactly what she said. Circle gets the square. Very nice, Bronson. Over to you, Bob. I'm going to go with uh, John Biner and his friends up there. John, hello. <laughs> John, according to Wall Street Journal. <laughs> These are Howard's kids. Do you want the reviews? <laughs> according to I'm the Gl Glen, Glen Oaks Feed and Pet Store, the simplest way to tell the sex of a duck is to simply look at its... what? <laughs> what do you have there, John? I have ducks here. <laughs> Howard's kids. Uh, uh, which one is the male and which is the female? This one is the female because you look at its feet. If the feet are small, they're female. If the feet are big, they're male. They're big feet. No one the male. John says the feet, Bob. I'm going to disagree with that. Good for you. <laughs> it's the tail feathers, John. The male has a curl and the two tail feathers, the female's tail feathers are flat. I don't really care. You know? <laughs> X gets the square. Over you, Sean. Lorenzo Lamas. Lorenzo Lamas. Falcon yes. Crest. Hi, big guy. Hi, John. How are you? According to a noted psychologist, Lorenzo, what is the most overused come on line for a man to use on a woman in the supermarket? Why don't you take off your clothes? <laughs> in the supermarket? Uh, no, really, nice melons. <laughs> I, uh, come, uh, let's see. Most used. There she is. Do you shopping. come? Do you come here often? Do you come here often, Sierra? 
I disagree. Good for you. It's do you really eat that junk? <laughs> Tell me, go to Itzhak Perlman, the block, please. Itzhak Perlman, the classical violinist who brings us class, Itzhak. Do you feel classy when you get up? Depends on your question. What? <laughs> Itzhak, true or false? According to psychology today, to most people, music is even more thrilling than sex. And it pays better. <laughs> Some people say it's more thrilling than sex. It's more thrilling than sex. Mm -hmm. I would say yes, definitely. He says true. Well, I agree with him. Good for you. It is true. You have the block. Over to you, Sia. Make it square. The lovely Jackie Collins. Jackie Collins, sizzling novels. The paper's almost sizzling out of my hand oh. as I read your question. Jackie, who gained fame as the little tramp? Well, how about uh, Alexis Carrington? <laughs> I think it must have been Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> Charlie Chaplin, Ciara. I agree. Good for you. Charlie Chaplin is right. Turkle gets the square. Over to you, Bob. I'll go with Emma Sams to Block, please. Emma Sams to Block. How are things on the Colby's, Emma? Oh, as uh, complicated as usual. As complicated as usual? No. <laughs> This would be for the block. Emma, according to U.S. News & World Report, more millionaires live there than anywhere else. Where is that? The Colby Mansion. <laughs> Do you know how many people live there? <laughs> um, must be California. Cal California? California. Bob, what do you think? This would be for the block. I'm going to disagree with that, John. No, she's right. Uh, Florida is the highest concentration per household, but California has the most of them. Interesting. Uh, so we can't put the circle there. You have to earn that yourself. Back to you, Sia. Okay, Emma Sams. Emma Sams. Your male boss keeps making passes at you, Emma, and you're not Betty White, so you can't enjoy it. <laughs> you're not interested, but you don't want to jeopardize your job. Now, according to Family Circle, what should you do? Run him down in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little sick. Uh, <laughs> I, what I should suppose you do? ask him politely to refrain from doing that. Politely say, get off my back, or, or do whatever you do. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I think that's it. Tell them you're flattered. You've won the game. $500 to Ciara. Well, we have a tie game. It's a perfect situation. We'll take a break. Right after these messages, we'll come back to see who goes after those Cadillacs. We have a tie. Stay with us. You know, future contestants on the new Hollywood Squares uh, can become members of the show. We choose the people right out of our studio audience. So if you would like to have tickets to the show, write to Tickets, Hollywood Squares, Burbank, California, 91523. In case we don't get to complete our last game, a horn will sound like this. And that means we finish that question, add up the X and O's on the board, and they're all worth $100. Whoever has the most win. Pick a square. It is your turn, Bob. John, I'd like to go with Bronson Pinchot, please. Bronson Pinchot. You're going on a cruise, and your doctor prescribes a small, thin adhesive patch to be placed behind your ear. Why would he do that? Because you have a slow leak. <laughs> You're going on a cruise. The doctor says you need this behind your ear. Why would he put a small, thin adhesive patch? To prevent seasickness. To prevent seasickness, Bob. That's correct. I agree with you that. You bet your seasickness. That's right. X gets a square. Over to you, Ciara. Yes. The beautiful Marriott Hartley. Marriott Hartley. How did Dr. Joyce Brothers answer this question, Marriott? Why does my 18-month-old son cry every time my husband embraces me? Because you're supposed to put the kid down first. <laughs> The kid's a warrior? I don't know. Let's see. Oh. That's what she says. Yeah, my 18 month old son cries every time my husband. Yeah, well, I guess it's because the, the, the child thinks that, you're, that the, the mother's going to leave him. Is that it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, okay. That would be my guess. You seem to know that's her answer that she thinks her mom's going to leave him. I would think it would have to do with jealousy, mm -hmm. so I'll disagree. You bet. It is jealousy. Very nicely. Oedipus complex. Remember old Oedipus? Circle gets a square. Over to you, Bob. Uh, I'm going to go with John Biner, please. John Biner, I hope you've gotten rid of those foul animals. <laughs> John, according to the Wall Street Journal, 
Why are some meter readers in Philadelphia now wearing bulletproof pants? <laughs> because the city's full of trigger-happy midgets, that's why. <laughs> you won't accept that. No. Meter readers are wearing bulletproof pants for some reason in Philadelphia. Bulletproof pants. That's right. I can't say they it any clearer. They get no breaks, maybe, that's why. <laughs> Uh, keep them warmer in the winter. Why warmer. am I talking like this? The midgets are gone. So come on. Warmer in the winter, Bob. I would have to disagree with that. Good for you. To prevent dog bites. Sure. That's true. X gets the square. Very nice. Ciara. Felicia and Ahmad Rashad. Felicia and Ahmad. You look so cute down there in that little square. Thank you very much. I wonder if all of America knows that uh, you guys are married, do they? <laughs> I guess they do now. Now they do. You've let it out of the bag. Felicia and Ahmad, surveys show that most couples planning on having children, which you are, when is the baby due? Hello? December. December, yeah. He usually answers all the questions. Oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> most couples planning on having children would prefer to begin with a what? Glass of white wine. <laughs> I think this would refer to a girl or a boy. Oh, yeah. I would say a girl. Boy. <laughs> Who has the last word in this family? I, I do. do. <laughs> we need one answer. A girl. A girl, Felicia says. Ciara? I'm so going... before the block. I know. I'm going to disagree. It is a boy. Oh, Circle gets a square. You have the block. Over to you, Bob. It's got to go another way. Please. Itzhak Perlman. Itzhak, it's a really wonderful thing to have one of these. Dr. Hang S. Noor has one. Rock star Prince has one. F. Murray Abraham has one. And you don't have one. What? A silly name. The horn doesn't mean it was a dumb answer. <laughs> a silly name is not right. No, now, we'll uh, finish this question. That is our horn. How about an Oscar? An Oscar? Bob? I'm going to disagree with that, John. Let me tell you right now that this would be, since it's a tie game, this will be for the game because of two X's and two O's. You disagree with an Oscar? That's correct. It is an Oscar, right? Ciara, you got to win that yourself. Over to you. <laughs> Mr. Itzhak Perlman. <laughs> Itzhak Perlman for the win. Itzhak, who supposedly said, let them eat cake? Uh, let's see. Um... There's a nice store on Cake Masters in New York, you know. And Somebody famous said, let them eat cake. Let them eat cake. Uh, Napoleon. Napoleon. Yes. This would be for the game, Ciara. I agree. No. You came that close. It was Marie Antoinette in the French Revolution, of course. Bob, you have won the game and you've won the show. Ciara, thank you for being part of our show. For an extra two hundred dollars, so seven hundred dollars in cash and parting gifts from us. Congratulations, you're a good game player. Let's say goodbye to Ciara. Thank you for being on the show. Stay right there. In this beautiful cup crystal bowl, we have five keys. Each key is to one of those beautiful Cadillacs over there. Pick a key. Thank you. Now, which car do you want to try? Will it be the El Dorado, the Seville, the Coupe de Ville? Cimarron or the Sedan DeVille? Which will it be, Bob? I'm going to go for the El Dorado, John. The El Dorado. All right, in just a moment, we'll be back with Bob and the El Dorado right after this. Don't go away. This good luck celebrity and this beautiful El Dorado. Tell us about it, Shadow. It's the 1987 aerodynamically efficient Cadillac Eldorado with contemporary style. It features transverse front-wheel drive, body frame, integral construction, and state-of-the-art electronics. The Eldorado from Cadillac. This Eldorado is worth $30,000. Good luck, Bob. On the count of three, let's all help him. Audience and stars, the key is in the ignition. One, two, three. <laughs> The bad news is you don't get the car. The good news is you come back tomorrow, you keep that key, and if you win again tomorrow, you'll have a one in four chance of getting one of those cars. Let's hope it's right. Great. Thank you for joining us. Come back next time and join us on the all-new Hollywood Play. Some of our department.
starting contestants will receive Gitano Sportswear, fashion that fits. Your style will never be the same, now at a department store near you. And Junior Mints, the bite-sized mint with a big size, tastes perfect as a refreshing snack or Halloween treat. Junior Mints from Nabisco and Zipcar, the goop-proof wood stain that lets you stain and finish in one day. And Zip Strip, non-flammable paint remover. Watching the clock pays off a $100,000 pyramid hosted by Dick Clark next. <laughs> 